Sometimes people take half truth and put them together and then it creates a misdirection or a diversion. You would have to be blind and deaf to not recognize that what is happening is not normal and is not justified. The only way that you can control people is by keeping them in ignorance. But as soon as a person becomes empowered with knowledge, the one thing is that nobody can control you once you are aware. You cannot be victimized once you're aware and once you've been empowered with knowledge. Freedom of speech is the freedom to speak. If anyone's not allowed to speak, then it's not freedom of speech. It's freedom to conform to certain parameters of what are acceptable. And then what that's doing is giving power to some authority to decide what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. The world is manipulated by a web. And think of a web, a spider's web, and at the center of the web, you've got the spider. That spider is the non-human force. Around the spider are the most exclusive secret societies. And people in them you probably never have heard of. They're the people really running this cult from the inner sanctum. Once you give that power to an authority, it then starts interpreting um, what can and cannot be uh, said. It's simply manipulating the target population to silence itself. Entrepreneurs, if you like, who are genuine, who believe in freedom of speech, they have a fantastic opportunity here and can make a, an enormous contribution to human freedom. When you look at a human life, it is a download of the official version of everything. That's what it is. This is why vast numbers of people have no other filter for their view of reality, self, world events than the information they receive from the mainstream media and mainstream everything. You tell me what I've told you and I'll give you a prize. You tell me what I've not told you because you've got a mind of your own and you're questioning it and I'll ring your mum and dad and say you're a disruptive influence in the classroom. We keep each other in line by ridicule and condemnation for the crime of being different or questioning the norm. And how has anything ever moved forward in the entirety of human history, ironically? People questioning the norm. Because if you don't question the norm, you go to, into an eddy or vortex, and you go round and round and round, and nothing moves on, and nothing expands. But that's the idea. You cannot control a population of critical thinking, free thinking people, questioning people, in the way that you can control a population that just accepts, like a sponge, the official version of everything. When you go through the level of ridicule, one of two things happens. Either it destroys you and you withdraw from the world, or you let go of the prison that most people live in, which is the fear of what other people think. Most people are not living their lives. They're not living who they are. They're living what they think others think they should be. And therefore, they're living a lie. They're living someone else's version of them. If you have people around you who so disrespect your right to be you, that they give you a hard time, don't surround yourself with people who respect uh, your right to be you. I don't care if they're family, I don't care who they are. If they don't respect your right to be you, then what you're doing, interacting with them all the time, it's, it's just going to make you depressed, it's going to make you frustrated. Walk away. And if they, if they then come round, great. But if they don't, well, equally great. Only express your true, unique self if you refuse to let anyone impact and suppress that expression of your true, unique self.